Right, hello you lot, welcome back. I haven't done one of these in a while, we're gonna be rusty. So today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial of the plugin Grantex by Deming. It's available on Spigot MC and built by bit, you can find it at deming.dev forward slash Grantex. Now you may know, probably not, that I've already done a review and tutorial of this plugin before, but that's because previously it was in development and I had beta access, it is now fully released and it's completely changed, so it warrants in a new tutorial. So if you bought a plugin on built by bit, formerly MC Market, you will need a license key. You can get this license key by going to Deming's Discord at deming.dev forward slash Discord. And to enter that license key, what you want to do is you want to go to your server folder, go to your plugins folder, then you want to navigate down to Grantex, and then you're going to go into your settings.yml. Okay, that's nice. You're going to go to this setting right here, and it says license key. I have the spigot version, so I will not need a license key. But once you've got your license key from the Discord server in a ticket, you're going to put that license key in there, you're going to save the file, and you're going to restart your server. Now make sure you restart and don't load because that will not work. So the next thing you need to do, go on to the Deming server, create a ticket. If you've bought from Built by Bit, you will have already done this, but if you've bought from Spigot, go over to his Discord server, deming.dev forward slash Discord, create a ticket, and you want to ask for the pre-made commands for whatever permissions plugin you use. So at the moment, you can get pre-made commands for look perms, ultra permissions, permissions X, and group manager. I'm going to be using look perms, so I'm going to take the pre-made commands and paste them in here, making sure I only highlight from line 33 down to 76. So now these are pasted in, you'll want to save the file with Control S or Command S if you're on a Mac, and you want to restart your server. So now you've restarted your server, you are fine to rejoin, and you want to run the slash grant x import command. This will say, are you sure you want to import all of your ranks from your permissions plugin into Grant X? And we do want to do that, so we're going to go ahead and press confirm in the chat there. And now you've run that command, you are all set up. But if you want to see how Grant X works, keep watching. So as you can see, we are running Grant X, the latest version. If you'd like to see a list of all the commands, run slash Grant X help. Now you'll see all of these commands, but the main one we're interested in is the slash Grant command. So we're going to run slash Grant followed by a username, and you'll see your list of ranks that you've imported. So you can have a custom duration, permanent, or any of these down below. I'll give myself it for an hour. Now you can select a reason. So let's give us a custom reason. Let's say Grant X Tutorial. And now we've typed in that, you'll see the confirm screen. So you'll see if we mouse over here, it tells you your player, the rank, the duration, and the reason. You press that, you'll see you were granted the owner rank and you'll see that it does indeed use whatever permissions plugin you've set to give you your rank. So now I have the owner rank. If you'd like to revoke a rank, you can use the slash grants command followed by a username and that will bring up all of their grants. So you can click on the grant and then confirm it like that. So you'll see if you go into grants again, it becomes red because it's been revoked. Now the next thing I'm gonna show you is the grants X editor this can be used to edit the plugin's GUIs without having to use any configuration files. So if you run slash grant X editor, you'll see you've got a list of ranks, servers, durations, and reasons. So we'll edit the reasons. We will create a reason. We'll change the name to tutorial. We'll left or right click on it to edit. So you can change the weight this appears if you have the Grant X GUI set to paginated and you want to move its position closer to the front or further behind. You can change the slot. This is if you have a one page menu, you can change exactly what slot it's in. You can change the material. If you click on it, there'll be a list of materials here or you can use a custom material, but I'm just going to use a raw chicken because why not? Now you can change the display name. This is what it'll actually appear as in the GUI. So we'll change this to Grand X Tutorial. Now you can change the item law. So you can change the permission needed to grant a rank. You can toggle whether it is a dummy reason or not, just meaning it is purely in the GUI for aesthetic purposes. So maybe used as a separator. You can toggle a glow. So that's just an enchantment glint. You can change the blacklisted servers if you're using Grant X with a MySQL database, or you can delete the reason. So now that's added so that will show up in the grant GUI. Now you can do the same with durations, ranks, and servers if you are using grant x with a MySQL database. So going back to the settings.yml, if you'd like to use grant x with a MySQL database, you can change your server name here. So this is what it will show up as in the GUI if all your spigot servers are connected to the same MySQL database. Go down here, past the command section, Go to storage, change your method to MySQL and your credentials. So if you'd like to edit your GrantX messages, you will do so in the GrantX folder and the messages.yml file. 
So just for example, I'm going to change the prefix here. So let's just change this. And then we're going to save this file. Then you want to go back in game on the command forward slash grant x reload. Now you'll see here it has the prefix we've entered in the messages.yml instead of the previous grant x prefix. So that is going to be all for today. If you'd like a more in-depth review, let me know. If not, just like and subscribe and goodbye.